Another one for your world class bone collection. <laughs> Good, you're both here. I was just about to tell Nasher it's time he got rid of these. Nash? No way, not the bones! <laughs> there are several well-regarded blogs about Nasher's impressive collection. <laughs> Largest bone ever procured from a Northern Hemisphere takeaway. Mmm, Nasher! Obscenely large wishbone doubling as a powerful menace catapult. <laughs> ah, speaks for itself, really. Oh, very impressive. <laughs> but uh, I'd like to start a blog about my garden. But... No buts. This back garden is a bone-free zone. And that's final. <laughs> oh! Crisis Treehouse meeting now! <laughs> Operation Bone Transplant <laughs> is go! We need ideas now! Nash's bones need a new home. <laughs> we could start a touring xylophone ensemble. <laughs> Anything else? Or sneak them into an everyday domestic setting? <laughs> No, what we need is an all-new bone zone. Somewhere Nasha can access any time of day. It's somewhere we can keep an eye on things. Ah, genius wears a striped jumper. That's the last of them. Nice digging, Nasha. <laughs> Well, I huh? never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Dennis, at school on a Saturday? <laughs> Don't tell me you're here for the lecture. Lecture? Putting the fun in quantum physics? Well, actually, Walter, we were uh, up to something I should be reporting to the headmaster. Oh, Dennis, Curly and Pieface. <laughs> Joining us for some extracurricular learning, I see. Uh, Walter. FYI, Dennis, that is no fun in quantum physics. We gotta do what we gotta do to protect Nash's precious bones. Oh. <laughs> ah. oh. 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 I think I need a lie down. Well, anything to keep your bones safe, Nasha. <laughs> Nash, Nash. <laughs> I never thought subatomic particles could be so side-splittingly funny. It was like a comedy club with learning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ouch. <gasps> what on earth have we got here? Fetch me a paleontologist. Post haste. Spend a bit of quality time with your bones while we're in class, Nasha. Nash, Nash! Uh-oh! Looks like you got company, Nasha! <laughs> and that, I presume, is the dorsal vertebrae? Yes, indeed it is, my boy! A mighty fine specimen! Good show, Dr. Paleo. I'm certainly glad we called a professional. <laughs> what is that? That, my boy, is the world's first mutton bovine poultry saurus. I prefer Waltosaurus. Mutton bovine poultry saurus. I like Waltosaurus. We like Waltosaurus. Ah. How about your old Notsosaurus? These aren't dinosaur bones. They're Nashes. Preposterous, young man. Why, the dog would simply collapse like a moist towel without bones. Uh, not Nash's actual bones. His world-class collection. What kind of dinosaur wears a bow tie, anyway? Ahem. <laughs> Hands up all the qualified paleontologists present. Hmm? Anybody? I, I know my hand is up. No, no, that's what I thought. 
Dr. Paleo, Dennis has just peeved that he wasn't the one to make the archaeological find of the century. It was, in fact, for the record, me! Bravo, Walter! Oh, Charlie, Dad! Good. Bravo, Bravo Walter. Walter! These bones belong to science now. They're going on a round-the-world tour as soon as I have them assembled. And when will that be? Tomorrow! <laughs> what? And don't even think about any funny business, Dennis. The Waltosaurus will be the most closely guarded skeleton in Beanotel. <laughs> Gentlemen, I give you the second most closely guarded skeleton in Beanotown. The T-Rex at the museum. If they want a dinosaur to take on tour, we will give them one. Nash, nash. Are you ready to make menacing history? Nasha! Let's make many history! Then phase two of Operation Bone Transplant begins. Meet tomorrow before school at the museum. <laughs> Need this one as is. Nash. Let's get this dinosaur mobile. <laughs> Time to move this to the dig site before they ship out Nash's collection from Beano Town for good. <laughs> Let's get going. Nobody. What are you doing down there? Hmm? Oh, just helping out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you missed a bit, Nasha. Nice, nice, nice. Hmm, I see. Oh, well. <sighs> so, anyone got any idea how to assemble this thing? Town. This is a proud day indeed. Beano Town's first ever dinosaur is about to go on a round the world tour. Do you think they'll notice the difference? <gasps> what? <gasps> no! That's no Waltosaurus. My expert eye tells me these are not even dinosaur bones. <laughs> what do we do, Doctor? <laughs> Smile for the cameras, my boy. <laughs> Hello! Smile and hope nobody notices. But... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of Beanotown, I give to you the Mutton Bovine Poultry Forum! <laughs> 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 Dad said the back garden was a bone-free zone, but he never said anything about the front garden. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry, Dad. This hole's earmarks for Nash's bones. Dennis! Hey? Eh? <laughs> Get me out of here! Looks like Dad's got a bone to pick with you, Nasha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
OK, menaces, time for a day off school. Got the stink stench, Curly? She ick! Essence of cabbage, cauliflower, bees' nappies, rotten fish and ben juice. <laughs> Let's wear this on ourselves and nobody will want us in their classroom. Three, two, one, fire! <laughs> Dennis! Oops. Ooh. Finish cleaning Mr. Detester's car. I even cleaned the inside. The inside? Oh, my God. Oh, crazy. What's going on, Curly? Let's take a kid to work day. I'm going to a games factory. Avatar analyst. And I'm going to the mayor's office for the day. The mayor's office? You want to be mayor? Not me, Paul. He wants to go into politics. He'll be president one day, and I'll be his official pie taster. Headmaster's assistant, yes! <laughs> A whole extra day in school. <laughs> Beano Town Police Department? Me? Daddy! Jet pilot. Sorry, Angel Face, but uh, uh, mm, under the circumstances, we thought you might suit something a little more outdoors. Uh, how about postal officer? What? Good morning, Mr. Postman Girl. Lovely day, isn't it? it. What is that smell? <sighs> What's wrong with you? Oh, just a deadly Amazonian virus. I couldn't possibly go to work. Cough. Ah, ah, oh, disgusting. <clears throat> All better. Enjoy your day. Aha, they've nabbed the little blighter at last. Ben, this calls for a celebration. I'll get the ginger nut biscuits. Sergeant Tinkle, you get the fizzy pop. <laughs> Trouble in Beano Town. A trouble free day is a good day for a police officer, Dennis. This is so boring. Right, Nasha? <laughs> what? Huh? What? No, oh, Dennis, no. There's no dogs allowed here. But Nasha's my police dog, Sergeant. Nasha, Nasha! Calling Sergeant Slipper. We have a situation in Beano Town Park. Roger, on my way. My name's not Roger. Out. Okay, not Roger, out. We're on our ways. Yes! Start the siren! Woohoo! Lesson one. We don't use the noise light unless it's an emergency. <laughs> Hold on! Wait, wait for me! Where's my badge? Constable Menace and Police Dog Nasha. Nasha! What's the situation? <sighs> Sorry. Take a kid to work day. I got Dennis. <laughs> Look! Oh. Ah. <laughs> All right! You strange hooded figure, put your hands up! <laughs> it's just a garden gnome. It's not even stuck on properly. Amateur. <laughs> Hold on. This is Mum's gnome. How'd it get here? Hmm. Because you put it here, most likely. Right. Let me just get my pencil out. And my pad. OK, where were you in the early hours of the morning, Dennis? No, oh, hang on. No, this wasn't me. I've used my own special formula menace glue. Hmm. It's clear we're dealing with a master prankster. What? It's just gnoming. Gnoming? Yeah, taking gnomes and putting them in funny places. I was doing that before I could walk. Uh... Hey, I always put them back. Urgent call from the mayor's office. Report of a gnome theft. Oh. On our way! Hey! I was going to say that. Slipper! Yes, Mr. Mayor, sir. Mayor. That gnome is a scrimp family heirloom. I must get him back. Hey, pie face. How's the job going? Oh, God, it's a lot of work, but I'm getting through it. Here he is. Oh, that's just Paul. Hey, that's enough of your naughty tricks, mister. No way for a president to behave. Huh? Slipper! Why haven't you arrested anyone yet? I have a suspect under surveillance right now. Huh? 
That's not good enough, Slipper. What you need is someone who can get into the mind of a master prankster, who, who can anticipate their every move and keep us one step ahead so that we can catch him. Yes, but who? Who, I say? Whom? Huh? Huh. Huh. Oh, right. I'll need my crack team. But Mayor Scrimp, Dennis can't be trusted. He and his friends are probably responsible. Exactly! And if he didn't do it, he better find out who did. And if he doesn't find out who did it, then he'll get the blame for doing it. <laughs> Nash! Calling all units! Calling all units! Come in! Reports of gnomes all over Beanotown. Let's go! Let's go! Dennis, stop stealing my lines. Hey, are you crossing or not? <laughs> Ah, Walter, why don't I show you how to use the PA system? No! Gnomes! We're being attacked! <laughs> okay, Sergeant, let's take a look at the evidence. Right. We've sent soil samples to the lab to trace where the gnomes have come from. It'll take up to three weeks. Nah, we've got our own lab. The Abyssinian Tripound Lab. Do these gnomes match all the missing gnome reports, Curly? Well, it appears so. Dennis's house, Mayor Scrimp. <laughs> oh. Mrs. Miggins, Mrs. Creature, Auntie Beryl. Can you verify that police dog, Nasher? <laughs> Nasher! The whole town's been gnomed. Everyone except the Colonel. But he's got the largest collection of garden gnomes in town. Exactly. Time to pay him a little visit. Yes, I heard the reports on my electric radio. So I ordered my men into the bunker until reinforcements arrived. Seen anyone suspicious lurking around, Colonel? Well, only that hoodlum next door. Wait, that's you. Sergeant, arrest this blatherskite. Ah, oh, sorry, Colonel. The blatherskite's with me. Special constable. So, Colonel, we're going to need two of your most able gnomes. Official police business. Oh, right, yes, of course. Ha! Ha-ha! Corporal Tinkle and Lieutenant Sprout reporting for duty. Do me proud, men. We've got a tracking device on this gnome. But... <coughs> and Nasha will be able to follow this one. Nasha! Time for Operation Oh Gnome You Don't! Right, everyone, the bait is planted. Stay quiet and still, and the gnome napper will walk straight into our trap. <laughs> Who's the bangers in these? What are you doing, Colonel? We're on surveillance. Hmm. A medal for supplying rations to a covert operation. <sighs> the gnomes are on the move. <gasps> They've gone to the wheels. Where to, Curly? That turning left near Mrs. Megan's house. We're about to go fast. Buckle up. And now we saw the road like ground eagles. Follow those gnomes! <laughs> Second gear. Third. Yeah, we're cooking. Oh, uh, is there a cereal bar in the back? It stopped right here. Where are the gnomes? Well, there's Sprout. Well, where's Tinkle? Oh, poo. What's that smell? It's like cabbage, cauliflower... These nappies? Rotten fish. And bin juice. <gasps> Angel face! <laughs> well, if it isn't... Constable Menace. It was you! Pretty impressive prank, Angel Face. But you're no match for a genius in a striped jumper. You're right, Dennis. You are the master prankster, not me. Ah, uh, Angel Face? You? It can't be! That's right, Sergeant. I did it. I'm flabbergasted. Uh, yes, right then. But it wasn't my fault. It was Dennis. He made me do it. Dennis! Right. Come with me. Nash? I knew it was you all along. I've got a nose for these things, you know. Well, you and your nose are going to have to catch me first. Oh, Dennis! Honestly, all this fuss.
saw was something so simple. Well, you do keep making me take baths. <laughs> At least the worst's over. Oh, no, it isn't. Nash, 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 Nasha could learn a thing or two from that cat. Kid, hat, reporting for bath night duty, sir. <laughs> in supplying vital equipment that deserves a medal, I think. Ha ha ha! Gotcha! <laughs> Walter! Got a minute! <laughs> Hang on, Nasha! Oh, no! Stop hanging on, Nasha! <laughs> So he needs to be taught proper bath time behaviour. Can you help? I don't know if there's much even I can do for such a smelly, scruffy creature. <laughs> Actually, we'd be delighted to give Nasha grooming tips. Dad, you can't do this to my best mate. You just can't. <laughs> <laughs> Bath all set up. Oh, I think not. Wow. Yeah. Doesn't that look relaxing? Nash, 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 nash! Please, Dad, I beg you to think of this dig's dignity. Uh, this dog's dignity. I beg you not to reduce him to a barking stock. I beg you to spare him his soapy ordeal. I beg you to stop playing that violin while I'm begging. Sorry, just practicing. Oh, for goodness sake, it's only a bit of soap and water. Nash! 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 Slimy soap and do I hate baths! I hate soap and shampoo in my hair. Ugh, my poor defenseless hair. I, it's so flat. <laughs> Being this clean's not natural. Soon fix that though. <laughs> 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 Nash, nash, nash. <laughs> With the pitch squirt.
Crouchy underfoot, we kick off with a magic muddy manoeuvre. It's on the head and all over his head. <laughs> now the dogged defender with his dynamite right foot. Uh, feet. Go on, Nasher. <laughs> 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 Need some food. Hungry, Nasha? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Fish, what is going on with you? You don't think he's ill, do you? <laughs> well, if he is, you'd never know it. He even smells nice. He's been acting weird ever since he was in Claudius's bath. <laughs> It's like he's turning into a C-A-T. Yeah. A what? A cat, Pyphys. Oh. Yeah. I promise I'll never let Mum wash you with the sprouts again, Paul. Ah, young Dennis. Your hairy hound has been at my flower beds. <laughs> huh? Should we take him to the vet? Can't. After Nash's last checkup, the vet emigrated to Africa to give fillings to lions. Hmm, I've got an idea. Nash, nash, nash. Nash, 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 nash. Nash. Reflexes are okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Energy levels are definitely okay.
to be amazed. <laughs> wow, a triple somersault. Uh, am I dreaming? Ow! Nope. Oh, you were brilliant, Walter. Cool skateboard. Is that the Armageddon? Not just the Armageddon. This is the Armageddon Ultrasonic Demon. Series 4. What? Even my gran could do a triple somersault with that board. Really? You hear that, Walter? Denny says that even his gran could do a triple with your board. Pfft, I bet she couldn't. I bet she could. How about if your gran pulls off the triple, then you're the Skate King all summer and Walter's banned. If she doesn't, you're the Skate King and Dennis is banned. You're on! <laughs> Dennis. <laughs> of course she is. <laughs> fish, 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 fish. It's the third Saturday of the month. It's before lunch. That means. Morning, dears. Biscuits. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> fish, 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 fish. Gran. Walter reckons you can't do a triple somersault on his skateboard. <laughs> this kingpin can still grind steel on the half pipe. Keep up, everybody! Right. Who wants to see a triple? Take a last look at the park, Walter. Only one of us is born to rule, and it's not you. OK, champ, get out there and knock him dead. <laughs> I've got nothing to fear. <laughs> Armageddon Ultrasonic Demon has a remote steering unit. Wasn't that a little like cheating? No, Dudley. It's a lot like cheating. You can do it, Gran. I know it. Nice, nice, nice. Can't look. Tell me when it's over, Paul. Go 
show on your cool board? Absolutely not. Now get down there with the other riffraff. Oh. How's your gran doing, Dennis? Oh, she's all back to normal. Ready for a fart attack. Yes. Yes. Fresh from the oven. It's real? Yes, dear. Coming in. Must get on with the dusting. You feeling all right, Gran? Oh, I am now, Dennis. What was I thinking? Skateboarding at my age? But you're the King Pipe of the Harpin. No, hang on a minute. The pit pipe of the ting pong. Not anymore. We've got other ways to have fun. What do you mean, we? Me and the girls. Oh. Company. Yeah. Help! How? Yeah. Just like my Mr. Fussy Kiss. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. It's because it's all in pieces, love. Oh. Curly, pie face, code red and black alert. Garden, now. Oh, you've worked it out. Yes, I have. It's time for plan D and G. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to get my pranking, menacing, gross-out gran back? Ready! Nash, nash. Do you like my new ring, Betty? Oh! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> A drink, Patty. <laughs> Dennis, that was naughty and very... <laughs> Stop knitting! What else have you got? Chewing gum chum? <laughs> Good one, Gran! Brilliant! <laughs> Dennis, please come back to the park! We're banned, remember? Walter used a remote control on the board. That's why your gran couldn't skate. <gasps> oh. I think I am old a rematch. Let's burn rubber, Dennis. <laughs> Oi! We demand a rematch. And why would I agree to that? Don't. We'll show everyone how you cheated last time. Very well. I will generously allow Dennis's Gran another go at the triple somersault. Use my board, Gran. Oh, oh. Ready for the triple, Gran? I was born ready. Dennis, I don't see any fleas. <laughs> fleas? 
flea market just means jumble sale, Pieface. Exactly. And that's where Nasha comes in. We're going to put the fleas into <laughs> flea market. <laughs> nash, nash. A rare baked bean tin. Good work, Nasha. We menaced the whole market. Not quite. What? I knew you'd try something like that. You're so predictable. <laughs> See that coming, did you? You'll never outthink a menace. Wait, what's this? The Book of the Menace. A complete guide to menaces and their pranks. <laughs> Dennis, your menacing days are numbered. <laughs> Is watering his flowers. But now my flower is going to water Walter. Uh, hey, Walter, want to smell my flower? Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice try, Minis. Now why don't you smell my flower? Huh? <laughs> 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 Oh, Walter got lucky with the flower prank, but there's no way he'll be ready for the stink balloon. <laughs> oh, what's in this stuff? My secret stink recipe. The sweat from my gym socks, an overripe gorgonzola pie. Oh, I was saving that. And something I combed out of Nash's fur after he rolled around in a dung heap. So this time, when he opens the gate, he'll set off my patented jelly nator. <laughs> I made a few modifications to your jelly contraption, Dennis. I think it's a big improvement. <laughs> Face it, Dennis, you're completely outclassed, outwitted, and outpranked. <laughs> Got to find out how Walter's predicting all our pranks. <laughs> right, I've hooked up the Nash cam to your computer, Dennis. Okay, Nasha, ready for your mission? Nash, Nash. <laughs> <laughs> Nashcam is online. Ah, oh, he's just doing homework. Go in closer. Okay. <gasps> That's not homework. Those are pranks. No use spying on me, Minis. I'm always one step ahead of you. <laughs> So that's how Walter keeps beating us. But where did he get that book? <laughs> this is the last place we pranked Walter. Maybe it's where he found that book. Go away. There's no one here. Hey, we come in peace. We're not here to menace. I just want to know about a book. <laughs> It's like an old diary with, with diagrams and, and pictures in it. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I sell a lot of books. Yes, but this one was filled with instructions for pranks. Oh, oh, yes, yes. I do remember that one. The Book of the Menace. Never seen anything like it before. A complete guide to menaces and their pranks. The Book of the Menace? Yes, that's right. I got it from an old lady who was getting rid of a box of junk. In fact, there she is now. Huh? Gran? Hello, Dennis. Hello, Nasha. Gran, do you know anything about the Book of the Menace? 
Annabelle. I should do. It's mine. Yours? Of course. It's been passed down through generations. Menacing runs in our family, and all the pranks are written down in that. There are even some from when your dad was a kid. Your dad gave up menacing when you were born, so I was going to pass it on to you on your next birthday. Then why did you give it away to the flea market? I didn't. <gasps> Unless... Oh! <gasps> no, it must have fallen into the box when I was clearing the attic. <gasps> Where is it now? Walter's got it. What? No! It's got all the menacing secrets in it. Every prank, every trick, from water balloons to whoopee cushions. Why, in the wrong hands, it could be the end of menacing forever! <laughs> oh, Walter. Give me that book. It's my grand's. Oh. Oh. How do you like your eggs, Dennis? Boiled, fried or rotten? You'll never beat me, Dennis. I have all your secrets. <laughs> Nash? Oh, Nasha, I had a terrible nightmare. Walter started using Gran's book to pull pranks on us. It was horrible. <laughs> but it's given me an idea. Come on. It's time for Operation Switchback. What's Operation Switchback? The plan to get the Book of the Menace back from Walter. Then why don't we call it Operation Get the Book of the Menace Back from Walter? Because it's a secret. We need a code word. Oh. Oh, can we call it Operation Pie? Uh, fine. Operation Pie. <coughs> Mission accomplished. I'll bake the trap. Nasha, you and Curly run communications. What about me? Look out. Go. And pie eating. Yes. Don't try and pull any pranks, Dennis. I'm ready for anything. Look, I know you've been out pranking me lately. Glad to see you know when you're beaten by a superior intellect. But I'm not ready to hand over my pranking crown just yet. How about a challenge? A final prank-off to see who can play the most tricks in Beano Town. No, oh, don't be absurd. I don't pull pranks. Unless they're on you. Ah, but if you win, I'll hand over my pranks and give up menacing forever. <gasps> no more menacing? Oh, I'll be a Beano Town hero. They'll build statues to me. Oh, you're on. <laughs> <laughs> Given up? Just waiting for the right moment. You're too late. Look. <laughs> Dennis, you're finished. I win the prank off. I pranked everyone in the street. You? you. <laughs> no, uh, I mean, uh, uh, yes, but it was just to stop Dennis. It was all his idea. Then why have you got the Book of the Menace? No, no it's not mine. It's his. <laughs> <laughs> Work team. So what are we going to do now, Dennis? Try out some of the pranks in that book? As soon as I've written this one down, Walter should have known. You can't learn menacing from a book. You have to be born with it. Woo! <laughs> Oh, I reckon the world, he's got his face on it. Shh, it's stuck.
starting. Tomorrow, Beano Town elects its next mayor. To show why I deserve your vote, I've got you all a present. A new waxwork of the most handsome, hard-working and, above all, humble man in Beano Town. Me! <laughs> this represents my new approach to menacing. Vote for me and I'll make Beano Town a prank-free zone. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. sure that he loses the vote tomorrow. And I know how. Hmm. Lunchtime. Ha <laughs> ha. Huh? Right. Time to make that wax work work for us. Nasha, it's snack time. Yes. Hmm. Looks delicious. <laughs> oh, you can't move in this town for menaces. Hey, come back with my lunch. Sure you're up for this, Payface? Oh, yeah. I'm world champion at standing still and doing nothing. Yeah. Oi! What are you doing? Mess Crimp's orders to protect this priceless work of art from any more menacing pranks. Well, he needn't worry. Nothing gets past old Slipper. Nash, nash! Time to show the town my new approach to menacing. <laughs> Careful now, Mrs. McGinty. Let me help you across the road. Ah, 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 my toe! I don't believe it! Did you see who that was? I know. <laughs> Father Christmas at this time of year. What? Oh, no, it was Mayor Scrimp! <laughs> <laughs> Sheet, lads. Uh, pie face. Disguised as a ghost. <laughs> Very funny. You just keep away from this waxwork. I have to make sure this vote runs smoothly. Haha! <laughs> nice one, pie face. You can stop doing the pause now. No, I can't. Oh, stiff. Sounds like scripts are gonna. Come on, we don't want to miss this. Right, all of you, take it easy. Back up, back up. What? What are you all on about? I haven't done anything. A likely story. We all saw you. We didn't think a new approach to menacing meant you would be doing the menacing. You're not fit to be mayor. So, none of us will be voting for you. Yes! yes. <laughs> now to get our skateboards back. Which leaves us one tiny question. Who is going to be the new mayor? Surely you're the obvious choice, Father. Oh, no, no. I couldn't possibly... N oh, very well. As you all insist, I accept. <laughs> all those in favour? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh... Vote carried. May I present to you the new mayor of Beano Town. Oh! <laughs> 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 My first act as mayor is to end Scrimp's pan on skateboards. 
Ah, maybe he's not so bad after all. And replace it with a ban on skateboards, bicycles, catapults, water pistols, water bombs, hand buzzers, and anything else that may be used by a menace. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I mean, heaven. Yeah, he's not so bad. He's worse. <laughs> Wakey, wakey, Assistant Junior Apprentice Parky Scream. Sorry, sir. All our gear gone. Scream doesn't seem so bad now. Let's scrimp stick to picking litter. It takes a man like my dad to deal with rubbish like you. You're nothing without your pranking equipment. Oh, yeah? A real menace can make a prank out of anything. Aha. Uh -huh. Slow down, Dennis. That does it. Little pickers are banned. Uh, re really? Are you sure? Absolutely. Anything that can be used for anything gets banned. Uh, okay. You heard the man. Hand him over. Yeah, right. Anything, eh? <laughs> Plan D and G. Lovely mints for you, Mrs. McGinty. Now, where are my paper bags? Again with the Mrs. McGinty. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happened? Did my black pudding explode again? <laughs> I saw that. Paper bags are now banned. <laughs> I'll just find something else to use. Oh. Still a stinky smell. Don't worry, miss. We'll shift it. Ain't it hot? Well, there's only one sensible response to that, and that's to ban hair dryers. Oh! Da 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 da! <laughs> My favourite colour. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> 1730 hours. Time for your daily watering. What the? Right. From now on, watering cans are banned, and so is paint. Hang on just a second. How's a chap to keep his garden spruce if he can't water it? Look, I realise these bans are causing a few problems. A few? With our paper bags, no one's buying any meat. Look at the state of my hair. I can't fix it without a hairdryer. Just give me a little more time. I I've almost beaten those menaces. Oh, yeah? Want to bet? Right, gang, this is the big one. Dirty socks? Check. Line of underpants? Check. Ultimate weapon? Let's see Walter's dad try and ban this one. Time for Operation Underpants. Charge! Stand firm. We can take anything they throw at us. Except sticky socks. Socks are banned. Everybody calm down. There's no need to... I can't see. Tactical withdrawal. Chaos. No, you're causing chaos. We were just standing here. Time for the pants de resistance. One of baby bees use nappies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That does it. As of now, all forms of underwear are banned. What? Don't be ridiculous. We were better off with scrimp. Sergeant Slipper, do something. Yeah, I intend to. I suggest yesterday's vote be overruled and Scrimp gets his old job back. All in favour? <laughs> Sorry, sir, but nobody's confiscating my underpants. Oh. As your new mayor, I hereby ban all bans. <laughs> Right, but don't think I'm going soft. Let me remind you the sort of man you're dealing with. Uh, uh, no, sir. Please, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's exactly like you. When there's menaces about, it loses its head. <laughs> 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 no. 